day-to-day working practices of people in government are evolving. Simple team activities are helping people to navigate complexity and prioritise the best thing to do next. The disciplinary team for the first time, um, I felt quite, uh, I struggled with the, the methodology and the way of working. It, working on a design process is quite different than working um, in, a, in a research project or maybe a more traditional research project. Some of the, the more anxious days were the days where I really didn't understand what, what, what was going on. It was, it was quite early on, it was quite nerve-wracking, um, but then when I sort of settled into the role and I took on quite a few leadership roles, um, all of it became clear. I think the best way to work in multidisciplinary teams is just to like give it a bit of time and, and space and know that people need to experience working with different roles to, to understand their value that they bring and, and and just kind of being empathetic is really important when you're working in multidisciplinary teams um, like not being too big for your boots knowing that you know you're coming from a problem in one perspective that is really valuable and other people are coming from the problem in a, in a different way which is just equally as valuable. We're really spending time to ensure that everybody's clear about their role on the team so whether you're you come from policy role, an operational policy role, whether you're a designer, whether you're new to government or have worked in government a long time, we're all starting at the same, um, you know, on the same line and that building that sort of getting to know each other, spending time doing that, understanding people's jobs, I think is really important and what they do day to day so that we can learn how to work together in the best way. So all the workshops, meetings um, and, and all the ways in which we collaborated were designed in a way to make sure that everyone could input into them. Um, so, you know, there was all, it was always really carefully um, choreographed to make sure that there wouldn't be people left out of the conversation and I, I spoke and that was really important because otherwise what's the point in having someone in a multidisciplinary team if then they can't be heard um, and that was actually quite impressive to me I, I was really impressed by that because actually it meant that it wasn't relying on people being extroverts or opinionated or, or whatever right? it, it meant that everyone got to have their say and everyone's opinion was really important partly due to you know, the working remotely situation we've all had to be in, but also the project team is that actually um, people can join in and get involved and make equal contributions by um, joining virtual meetings um, and, and working in, from home in a different part of the country. At one point, I think, a different part of the world, we had someone set up base um, in Portugal. I think what really helps with the remote working is, is quite much more tighter facilitation um, so we have, if you have a clearer understanding of um, objectives of, of the, the time that people are going to spend together and you have someone who's designated as a facilitator um, leading people through the session I think that's really useful for remote working. Even though I'd um, done project management Prince 2 before um, this was completely new to me in terms of the way that we were organising you know, with the timelines and then keeping track of work. So we worked in two weekly sprints and we had a sprint planning session at the start of the two weeks and we planned what work we were going to do over those two weeks. Um, each person got an opportunity to um, put their hand up for, you know, the thing that they were going to work on. And it felt like there was an architecture that we were working to. And so it became less about this thing we need to produce at the end and more about each individual step, which made it feel more achievable, more accessible. So it was the chunking it up, I think. And in doing so, we were able to focus more on the detail. So then people could recognise themselves or their roles in different aspects. So we had a daily stand up in the morning. Um, so everyone, everyone would say quickly, you know, hello, and what are they working on? Are there any blockers for their day? Um, and that really keeps the pace of the project going. Um, but but it also means that we, everyone is, is speaking, everyone is heard on a daily basis. You could see each week where things were moving ahead, things were motoring on, and but you could also see where you got stuck. But I think again, that, that was a real bonus for, from working from home, because if, if 
quite often you feel, God, it must just be me that stuck, got stuck at something, but actually you as other people got stuck too. So it really kind of helped with that, just pushing through it because it was, it was a problem shared. Embracing that sort of idea that you can fail and that you might not do something perfectly first time. I think there's a lot of pressure to get things right and that's not always realistic. Uh, and it's okay as long as there's safeguards within the process and that everyone's aware of that. This is where you really start to have the benefit and the support of that multidisciplinary team because you might not know who can help you solve that problem. And if there's um, a whole different um, team around you with different experiences and, and different approaches, you've got 10 different ways to solve your problem and some people will come in and they'll solve it straight away or some people will solve it with you over time. There was a moment when it was blindly falling, but then the penny dropped. And when the penny dropped, you go, oh, I got this. Then the fun came in and, you know, and it became, became excellent, something excellent to be part of. It's not been a, a one-off project. It's very much sort of something that sort of shapes and, 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 and builds my, my views as I, as I go through and, and, and go on and work with other teams and, and other projects.